Hi, August Block here again, and today I'm going to talk about preparing for an ultra endurance cycling event called Paris Brest Paris. It's 1200 kilometers, I'll have 84 hours to complete it, and I have 90 days to prepare for it. But before we dig into that, what do you say we do a little sightseeing, get some riding in? Let's go. Okay, that was fun. So let's dig in a little bit. So what is Paris Brest Paris? First, it's the oldest regularly run organized cycling event in the world. It was founded in 1891 and it was originally a race from Paris, France to the French coastal city of Brest and back. It is no longer a race, but it is a timed event. And there are controls along the route and riders must hit those controls in certain time windows, otherwise they'll be disqualified. The unique characteristic, however, of Paris Brest Paris is that it's completely unsupported. There's no sag. You get a flat tire. You need more food. You need a new chain. There's nobody on the route that can bring it to you. You need to pack what you need, train, what, train and prepare to go the distance by yourself. Now you can refuel and get new supplies and you actually meet people at some of the designated controls, but mainly you have to prepare to do it all yourself. That sort of characteristic of a, a, a kind of subgenre of riding called randonneuring, of which Paris Brest Paris is uh, the Mac Daddy of randonneuring. And randonneuring, again, is ultra endurance cycling, long distance cycling, unsupported and uh, organized timed events. And they are generally in the distance of 200 kilometers, 300 kilometers, 400 kilometers, 600 kilometers, with the 1200 kilometers being called a grand randonnée. Uh, excuse me, I don't speak French. And sometimes there's a 1500 kilometer ride as well. And these riders that do this kind of randonneuring is sort of a unique subset of of cyclists because they're not really part of a group as you might think of a cycling group they're not like all getting in line in a peloton and hammering it out yes of course they'll collaborate and work together particularly in wind and uh, environments and hills but really they're not a group they're they're everybody is on their own independent journey and they're riding their own different equipment too there's no one kind of bike that people will ride some people will ride a recumbent bike some people will ride a race bike others will ride a randonneuring bike i sort of have a, a kind of hybrid randonneuring touring bike right here with a little bit which is has wider tires fenders bags to carry all my nutrition and equipment a pump and it's just outfitted for long haul unsupported riding and that's also a typical bike for randonneuring. But it's a unique community of people that just go out there in the world and just ride, ride, ride. So, so in full transparency, I went to Paris Brest Paris in 2019. I don't know if I mentioned that it only happens every four years. So yeah, it happens every four years. And in 2019, I qualified for the event and I went to Paris Brest Paris. But it kicked my ass beyond anything I could imagine. Even though I had done long rides up to like 375 miles i had no idea what i was in store for with the elevation gain the freezing weather at night the rain the just the, the you know not knowing what's ahead carrying too much gear i was just totally unprepared like mentally and physically so for the past four years i've been trying to incrementally prepare for this year last year for me was a real bumper year i logged a lot of miles i logged 
11,400 miles. That was actually more miles than I ended up driving last year. But this year, it's been a little bit patchier. I've had a harder time keeping a consistent schedule. And my target is to complete 6,000 miles by then. I've also packed on some weight and I have a, quite a distance to go. I'm at a place in my training where I can, it's a, most of this is heads, head training, head conditioning, like getting yourself in the space to push through major adversity, extreme discomfort, like exhaustion, boredom. It's mainly a head trip, but if your body is not also tuned and conditioned, then your it makes it like medieval torture to do that. You can do it, but it will be even more grueling and more painful than it has to be. So the ultimate is to the ultimate goal is to be in prime condition before you hit this event. It's probably also important to note that I'm no spring chicken. I'm 54 years old this year. And, you know, throughout the years, throughout my life, my, I have not always been kind to my body. You know, I've abused it a bit. You know, I worked construction for years. I didn't lift properly. I, I ran and hurt my knees. You know, I've got lower back stuff, you know, and I'm just, you know, an aging guy, you know, <laughs> living life, you know. So I have to kind of work within the restraints that I, that I have. Additionally, you know, it, there's a challenge of trying to schedule time when you have family and work and these rides are a big commitment. Today's ride, for example, is a six hour ride. Luckily, it's Saturday and I can ride it and I can take that time out. But it's not always the case. You know, things get in the way. I've got to take my daughter to school. I've got to take care of other people. I've got work obligations. The things that everybody faces in life. And when you layer on training for an ultra endurance event, it starts to get tricky. But I think I've got some strategies for it that I'm going to share with you along the way. And uh, hopefully we'll learn together and be able to go on this journey as a team. think some accountability is going to be helpful and that's really where I'm turning to you. I would love it if you all would follow along with me on this journey knowing that I've committed not only to myself but to other people, other people that are watching and interested and uh, some some are cheering along and others are just following along. I think that's, that's really meaningful and helpful so if you are interested please please subscribe give me a thumbs up and let's do this thing together. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let's go do some riding. Cheers.